Hello, das ist Ms. Jäger, and welcome to the front lines. This is Red Orchestra 2. It's a multiplayer first person shooter. Um, I'm on a custom map at the moment. And playing as the Russians. Shock horror. I do like playing the Allies as well as the Germans. We're just on this custom map at the moment, and I have literally. I have little to. Oh shit. Duck, duck, duck. Um. I have little to no idea where everything is and where... Yeah, lots of players in this thing are bots, so do forgive if they're not entirely thing, but I just wanted to have a bit of a reasonably botish match so I don't have to spend every t few seconds being quiet because of uh, things like this. So, yeah, this is... Um Get him. Or did he just get down? I uh, got him. Um. I keep making that mistake. Now, nah, but anyway, so this, whilst um, the servers are being patched up. I thought I might release a bit of content. I've been releasing a lot of um, Far, Far Cry 3 content because um, at this, as much as this is, um, this is a pretty good map actually, I like this map. I have to admit, I'm a, big, I'm a bit of a bigger fan of the maps where there's loads of um, bots. Not because it's an easier game, but because you can... Ah, crap! <laughs> Says he who gets just shot. Um, I prefer maps with bots because that way you get to... I think it introduces you to the multiplayer a little easier than if you were playing... Ouch. Um, it introduces you to the game a lot better, multiplayer-wise, than if you were going into multiplayer games. Because one of the major downsides to this game, I will say, is the fact that there isn't much... Like, there is a single-player campaign, and it does give you a very rough basis for how the game mostly plays. Right, where is the bad guys? Bad guys are over there. Okay, so they've got snipers. So yeah, like I said, um... Oh, shit! What the hell was that? Oh, is that a panzer? Fuck, it's a panzer. I don't want the satchel charge, I want the grenade! Fuck you, Komristan! Ha! <laughs> Burn you fascist bastard! <laughs> oh, the turret off as well. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, um, so yeah, um, it the game without bots, um, game with bots, I feel, introduces you to the introduces you to multiplayer a lot better um, than it would say if you were if you were playing a game where you had loads of players because obviously the players you'll undoubtedly meet someone who has been on this game a lot longer than you have so naturally there will be some points in the game where you will just be ripped apart by the sheer weight of numbers or sheer weight of skill, you know, there's loads of things in this game that you will probably get killed for. And this game isn't very... is one of those games which I like because it still it has the essence, the core essence of most shooters, or it should have been most essence, which was, you know... Down, 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 down. Oh, shit. Shit, I should have stopped. Never do that. <laughs> Tip and advice. Never run and change into grenade. Grab a, grab a rifle and go for it. Um, well, I got a tank. I'm proud. Get down. That was close. Run. Um, but yeah, so. in case those fascists come around the corner. Um, but yeah, so this game is good. It's fantastic. I love it. 
but there are some points in which I, I mean to be honest, I don't really mind because I'm more experienced but something like that might put off a, a newer or a younger player I would say because um, obviously if you don't know how to play the game and you keep dying it becomes very difficult to enjoy something like this Let's see if I can stab the how the fuck I went through him <laughs> Oh, dang it. Close quarters was never really my style. I prefer a bolt action rifle. Uh oh, crap. There he is. Hands! You are now looking at one of my favorite weapons in the game. I love the bots when they do this sort of. I'm running like mad, mad. Bang! Bearing in mind, this takes. I mean, I'm still not a professional sniper. Well, I'm not even a sniper, but um, oh dear. They have taken lots of areas. And we're attacking again. So um, oh dear, they've captured a lot of areas. What areas have we got? Have they not taken? Okay, we've got one more zone. Um, anyway, so might as well explain this. This is basically territories mode. It's kind of like domination, where you've got to capture certain zones in the game in order to advance. Now, this depends on the map, but generally speaking, um, places like these... I just throw a frag to clear the building. And get in a trench. Best place to be is in a trench. Doesn't matter where, just in a trench. Yeah. A friend of mine um, loves being Russia, so. Oh, shot! Here I am surrounded by crap tons of bad guys, and all I've got is. Right, oh, there you are. I shot one guy, and another guy over there. Oh, you fucking legend, I love you. <laughs> Got him. Whether or not this will actually kill off the entire dude. In the trench we go. We captured the hill, which is quite good. And we lost a mate. No, protect the horse! Oh shit. Missed it. Oh no. Down! Yeah, so in this, obviously I'm playing as one of the Bolsheviks. But I'm leveling up my favourite type of rifle. Oh, I love this thing. Um, one of the cooler aspects of this game, and one of the things I like, is, well, another thing I like, is the fact that the game is quite realistic. So, for example, um, generally, if you get shot, you die. Oh, of course, I've got a pistol. I forgot I had a pistol. Generally, you're not given a pistol. I prefer to go on to realism modes, because, first off, you, they when you shoot someone, they tend to die very quickly. Um, second off, um, second off, uh, shit, they got a panther. Nice uh, player as well. Shit. Definitely high pace. They're all coming towards the hill as well. I don't know how long I can record this for, but yeah, generally speaking, this match, this map is. I I actually quite like this map. I might put it on. This might become one of my favourites. I've only played this like the first time, but already I'm falling in love with it. I haven't got a twitchy mouse as well. Even better. Um. 
yeah, I thought about I thought if I just by making a quick video of this because I may I did make a video a long time ago and I'm not sure even if I posted it, but no, I did post it. Yeah, Burmarked one. Um, I was simply playing um, that game. Ah. Um. Yes, it was a piss easy shot, but what are you gonna do? Um. Where's the armored vehicle? I don't find him. Oh shit! Schnitzel. <laughs> okay, there's that one. Problem. Okay. I got him pin. Anyway, so like I was saying. When you can guess, to be honest, I've had this a bit in most matches. I mean, obviously, this is a lot easier because they're they're bots. But ah, oh, that's close. Ah. Uh -huh. I need to start moving before I get shot at. It's the target. They are so juicy from here. Oh shit, that's okay. That's a symbol. That's a symbol. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I want to stay. I don't want to move. Ping. Okay, that, that was just the bell. That was the bell. That's the bell of, if you don't move, I'm going to shoot you. And you're going to die miserably. And there's a fascist tank. Hello? Heinrich! Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna move before we get blown up. I'm a little conscious of the fact that there is literally bugger eth all cover around here. So, obviously, when it comes to being engaged by Arty, eh, generally speaking, people die very quickly. Oh shit. I don't have any anti-tank weapons now, so if I tried something, I probably wouldn't survive. Got to be careful not to piss off there. Ah, I got him. <laughs> Bang! I wish I had, um... Wish I had that guy's magic pistol. Tom Hanks magic pistol. I mean, God Almighty, he could destroy tigers with that thing. Hurra! It's right, comrade, you fascist bastard. Okay. But yeah, anyway, so like I was saying, um,. I just thought I'd quickly make this video just to sort of showcase that the game isn't dead. Far from it. I still very much enjoy it. I saw you, you little bastard. I've got to keep my eyes peeled actually out of that tank. I don't know how long. We're actually winning quite well. We're coming up to their spawn though, so I wouldn't be too surprised to see a bunch of German. This is why I wish I had a MG34, because then I could totally massacre those bastards. Well, there they are. Ah. Ah. 
Two kills. I am proud of that change roll. I'm going to be an engineer now. Get the assist, comrade. No, actually, I'm just going to be a rifleman. Rifleman for the win. Axis are attacking No Man's Hill. Damn it, comrade. We've only got one more objective to take. We're draining them. Slowly. But, you know, we still have to drain them. But yeah, so, I just thought of quickly making this video, because it's it's nothing too major. And what I should do is hopefully pretty soon we'll be having um, a grouping of the um, new patch point 8.4. And in this new patch, we should be able to... Oh, shit, that was close. Um, in this new patch, we should be able to see some of the cooler aspects of the new tech tree. Go on. You go, mate. down? Yeah, he's down. Heinrich und Vaterland. Oh, shit. Where is the bad guys? They're all on that hill. So. Hurra! Well, we've got Russians. Take this area for Deutschland! I think I'll kind of push towards this line and... Duh! Duh! Dead man's to click. Look at all these bloody weapons. Ah, yes! Yes! I don't know how many kills I got, but I'm hoping a lot. Let's see, Crap Hunter, Crap Hunter. 35 kills! Have it! So, yeah. Russia for the win. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you guys later.